On the evening of Sunday, March 20th, when James Clarence Wilson crawled out of his Jeep after he lost control and flipped over twice, he became the latest poster face of the warrior broken by combat, wounded by invisible injuries, and in desperate need of help. Staff Sergeant Wilson, Jimmy as everyone knew him, was born to be a soldier. His family and friends say he was happiest in uniform. He enlisted in the Marines at 18, and by the time he joined the Pennsylvania National Guard, he had earned the respect of his superiors and subordinates. Jimmy deployed twice, in 2009 to Iraq and last year to Afghanistan, a 10-month tour for which he volunteered. By all accounts, Jimmy was a fearless warrior, a security patrol dedicated to keeping the men and women in his unit alive. Jimmy often volunteered for some of the most dangerous security missions, combing heavy enemy areas for IEDs, suicide bombers, and snipers. Behind this hero facade dwelled a man ravaged by war. Since the U.S. launched its war on terror, soldiers like Jimmy have struggled with the psychological burden of a new type of warfare. Multiple deployments, the rigors of fighting among civilians. I personally, I didn't hear any of that from his friends because we, when we came back and this this happened, everybody was shocked. Because I st- I talk to the guys all the time, and. Uh, when this happened, the, the, everyone was like, the last person you would ever expect to do that was, was Jimmy, you know. I I didn't hear anything about that he was uh, depressed or anything like that. Really? He seemed fine when I left, yeah. Staying alive and keeping the men and women in their unit alive has put inordinate stress on these soldiers. For many, the return to civilian life has become as burdensome. Like so many of them, Jimmy seldom spoke about his internal war. But when he did, he opened a window into the heartbreak and guilt he carried over the deaths of the men he had seen over the years. And his moral struggle and ambiguity to put the soldier life behind and get on with civilian life as if nothing traumatic had happened in his life. It makes no sense. He had 20-some thousand in his checking account, just moved into an apartment the first of the month. Mm -hmm. When there were three weeks. He went to Desert Storm, lost guys. He lost in Iraq. And this time in, the, in Afghanistan, he saw two of his buddies get blown to pieces from here to that doorway. Stories of the hundreds of soldiers who have committed suicide are all unique. Jimmy's allows us to share in their humanity, their foibles and virtues, their strengths and weaknesses. It would have been better had Jimmy been around to tell his own story. We'll have to make do with the stories told by family, friends, colleagues, and fellow guard soldiers. I don't think he did that to me, personally, because we were so close. Well, he told me, though, he said, I don't ever want to bury you, Dad. He said, I want you to bury me.